So we have some of the most interesting, unique, and amazing meditations I think in the world. I mean, we have past life regression meditations, guided hypnosis meditations, Akashic record meditations, as well as healing meditations. Our meditations are pretty cool. And they're not just about stillness of mind and peace and sit there, hmm. I mean, we have those too, don't get me wrong, but these are about meditations that are going to shift and change. And you're gonna walk out of there feeling lighter, freer, healed, and even getting guidance and insight. So come down, experience one of our meditations. They're pretty badass. Hi, this is Christina Dam, and this is Liberate the Podcast, where we educate, motivate, inspire, and liberate your consciousness. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Liberate the Podcast. Today, we are going to deep dive into astrological healing, all of these wonderful, amazing products made by this special person here, Rx Xander. And he is an astrologer that is not only just in the United States, but overseas too in Europe and uh, has created this amazing product line, but really understanding how using astrology can heal you and looking at different things and especially fascinated with Chiron. And so we're going to get into all of that and wherever else this goes, because you guys know my style. And for the people that are watching on live stream, um, you get to know me and get to learn more, hopefully about this amazing human. Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So yeah, astrological healing. It's, it's when I talk about it to a lot of people, they're like, wow, I've never heard of that before. And that's really how I started because I, I love astrology mm -hmm. since I was little, like looking at the stars, it was always something that was very natural for me. And a lot of times uh, the, the archetypes, the guides would come visit me when I was little, right? And they would, they would teach me a lot about the wisdom of the stars and the archetypes. So like how old were you when this was happening? Oh, like four or five Oh, really little. Yeah, like really little. Like my imaginary friends were the archetypes. Yeah, so they would come and visit me and I'd download, have all kinds of intense downloads and information. And, you know, it was just remembering because I know for sure in past life I practiced astrology and healing and alchemy, you know, all of these arts. Yeah. So it was just kind of like reawakening it. And a lot of my journey was not suppressing it, you know, allowing it to really come out and come up and, you know, utilize it. So now was this a thing, you know, cause a lot of times when kids have this awareness, mm -hmm. it gets suppressed for a period of time, then it gets reawakened. Right. right. Now, was that the case or did you have parents in, in an upbringing that supported it, that you could continue to just dive deeper? Right. Well, it was actually what we call tower experience. So, and I also work with the tarot. Okay. Uh, those are the archetypes that I work with and a tower experience is anything in your life that just is like a, a lightning bolt that says, wake up. OK, and when I was shortly before my 18th birthday, mm -hmm. my appendix exploded and I almost died. Wow. And before then, I hadn't really embraced my healing abilities. And it was about 12, maybe uh, many hours being misdiagnosed, three different doctors. Nobody could figure out what it was, even though I, I knew from within myself that my appendix exploded, even though I had no idea what that meant. But I heard this voice that said, your appendix exploded. They thought I was on drugs or something. But it was... And you were saying this to the I doctors. was telling them, yeah. I was telling them that. And it was... It's all documented. I got the I got the reports later, like 10 years later, just to like... So I could read it all, like what the doctor said and everything. Yeah, because I mean, we, we remember things yeah. and then we re-remember things. And sometimes it's not how we remember yeah. it. But you got the verification. Exactly. Now, here you are telling them. Exactly. And there are always different stages of healing that... You're not ready always to heal everything all at once. It could be like many different stages before you're like, you can heal it like a whole trauma, right? So mm -hmm. I, I needed those papers. So I was reading through it. And it's like, wow, like to read it through like that is really intense because I was on morphine and all kinds of drugs and it was really intense. But um, I, that was a blessing and a curse. I was really grateful because the surgeons saved my life eventually. They just cut me open and just, oh yeah, appendix exploded and had been filling up for a while, right? Wow. And so that was when I kind of broke up with Western medicine. Mm -hmm. I was really grateful that they saved my life and I love surgeons that they can do that. 
and they can save people who have like these tower experiences. Yeah. But then what you do with it afterwards, I think is really important. That's what, that's what really motivated me to, okay, so what's the alternative? Yeah. And so I started um, searching for a natural healing and then it just, it started to just find me. Mm -hmm. And when I would meet some of the best healers in Los Angeles, because I, I grew up here. Okay. This is where I'm from. And I was like, what are you doing? I want to know all about that. Right. So I would start to learn about how to heal. And uh, I, I'm a kinesiologist also. So I okay. use I use, um, you know, muscle testing mm -hmm. and and that's my vehicle of how I use astrology. So that's kind of a, a really yeah. um, to bring these two worlds together because I would learn about you know, the meridians and the vortexes is what I call chakra. So the the English word for a chakra is vortex because I can see them and that's what they look like. Yeah. And so as I was studying healing, I had all this astrological wisdom inside of me and I say, OK, so I'm learning about the 12 meridians. Yeah, OK, that's the 12 signs. Right. So mm -hmm. I know about the 12. Then I, then I study about the qualities of the 12 meridians. I know exactly where they fit with the signs. And this mm -hmm. really hasn't been done before. And I was able to do it with the, the vortexes and like the 10 planets and the 10 vortexes. And I realized, wow, because everything is all connected. Well, true wellness is about spirituality, having like a like an interchange within yourself. I had to look at like part of my healing journey was why did my appendix explode? OK, yeah, to wake me up. But then also my own soul journey is why did it explode? What do I need to work on? Like, you know, to prevent that from happening again. And yeah. how can I share that message with others so that they can, you know, prevent kind of these tower experiences from happening? That Beautiful. is Beautiful. Yeah, that can just be really quite chaotic at times. So. And so you're noticing all of these, you know, uh, ways that things fit together. Yeah. And can we elaborate a little bit on that Absolutely. of, you know, uh, kind of bridging that mindset? OK, because, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people, some, some people, they might not even know what chakras are or whatever. Right. These different, you know, vortexes, yeah. as you would say, of energy centers within your system. But then there's all of these planets. And then why is there a connection yeah. and what's the connection? And, and yeah. you know, how do you use that to shift or change? Yeah, absolutely. So for me, when I was studying and doing astrology, it really, it wasn't enough to just kind of have it be theoretical. Like I needed to see how could it, how does it work through the body? Mm -hmm. Right. And so when I, like I said, when I was studying the different uh, energy structures of man, and then I was linking them all together, then I realized, oh my gosh, that's how astrology works. It's not just like, you know, Mercury's transiting Pisces in my, you know, eighth house. And that's really great. But it's actually at the same frequency as the crown vortex. So it's like, you know, the different planets have the different, uh, they're connected to the different vortexes, the different chakras, if you will. Mm -hmm. And when they move, it's like, they're like, um, our vortexes are like radio frequencies that then are tuned to those movements, you know, in the sky, so to speak, right? So, Got you. so it affects the way we think, like depending on the planet and the aspects that it makes. I mean, it's it's I'm really passionate about it. So, OK, it's, um, but it's like it really affects through the energy structures of our being. So, it, you know, kind of to, to rephrase this a little bit yeah. to make sure everybody gets it and to make sure I'm understanding. Yeah. So you have if the planets are all these. I don't know, like radio frequencies, right? Or different things, or they have this broadcasting. ability. Broadcasting. Broadcasting. Yeah. And so when they move or how they move has this this flow or this force kind of on it to operate, to move differently, to, uh, you know, maybe even spin differently or take in right. more energy or less energy. So it right. has this effect, ripple effect on the rest of your being because these different centers control different aspects of yourself, of your life, of your finances, of your health, yes. of your relationships and all of that. So, I mean, I guess to even say this another way, it's kind of like seeing how the moon affects the tide. Exactly. That's a perfect example. Like the moon affects the waters of our earth. It also affects the waters of our body. Yeah. So that's a really good example of how it affects us. Yeah, so, so, so if mm -hmm. people can see that metaphor or ever see, like, I mean, here we have the observatory, the Griffith Observatory, yeah. and one of the areas there, um, and I don't know if any of you have ever been to an observatory that are pe uh, peeking in or those, but at our observatory that we have, there's a photo 
of the biggest difference of high tide versus low tide and it goes like three stories difference mm -hmm. so that they actually built um a, a little dock underneath and then a dock high up in Beautiful. order to make the difference between how much the tide can adjust yeah. doing to the moon cycles and yeah. so that image has <laughs> always saddened to me because like it's not like just a little high tide low tide it's like you're talking stories yeah. where they had to actually build a separate whole dock yeah you know with a ladder system <laughs> yeah you know? I mean, it's like the ebbs and flows of life. You know, we have different <laughs> decks. Yeah, and... yeah. So those are like, if, if that's the extreme of how it can affect yeah. a tide in the in the most affected place of that a tide is affected on, on our planet Earth, that's what the picture is of yeah. it. Then you have to think with these planets and how they're affecting us. Right. And depending on our signs and our positioning and all that yeah. stuff, it could affect us a lot or oh, a yeah. little. Yeah. And I always say the less aware you are, the more it affects you. Mm, now, why is that? Well, because, you know, ignorance in this case isn't necessarily bliss. You want to become <laughs> aware of it so that you can transcend it. So that's the thing that I do uh, with Dash Astrology, which is the school and the lineage that I started, mm -hmm. it's about really overcoming it, not just being boxed in by it, but becoming aware and self-empowered and how can I make a change in my life so that the ebb and flows aren't like throwing me into the middle of the ocean. Okay, so, mm -hmm. so you know, understanding in that awareness, mm -hmm. how do you counteract that? Like, mm -hmm. that's where the healing comes into exactly. place, which is what you do. Exactly. But, like, let's take that through. How do you help somebody not have this big, massive force in the sky, like, the or, like, the, you know, if the moon's going to affect the tide, the moon's going to affect the tide, but right. how do you change that, right? Right. That, that was my question, like, growing up and developing my healing system called Astrology, so, ah, yeah, it's like called that. astrology. And I was like, I was trying to find, okay, so what modality do I plug in the software of astrology into something that's hands on? And that's when I found and fell in love with kinesiology with my healing work, like in my, like my own self healing. And, and that's really basically just, you know, testing various muscles on the body, which are connected to different archetypes. Okay. Okay. And that's really cool. Because I can just check, okay, so let's see what's going on with your Neptune, for example. I can just test a muscle on your body and I can see if it's over facilitated or under facilitated and then how to balance it out. So if someone's having like a big crisis, okay, right? You say, okay, what's the goal? Mm. What's your goal? And a lot of times people, they don't even know what their goal is, especially yeah. when they're in crisis. So we say, no, okay, they don't even, they, yeah. they don't even know their goal when they're out of crisis exactly. and they're trying to manifest. Or they don't even know if they're in crisis, <laughs> Yeah, you know? And so these things, that's where then the chart is so handy. You can say, wow, there's a lot of planets going on here. Like what's going on, like in your finances or in your relationships or, you know, and, and you can kind of just kind of see like what they say and it's very therapeutic for them. And then we can establish make, maybe like finding a goal as a goal or working on the goal. And then what I do is so amazing. I just put everything into what's like uh, the best way to describe it is I set up pins like okay. if you're bowling, you know, so whatever's going on with the person. And that's what I do in a session. I just set up all the pins of what's going on. And then I just hit a strike at the end and I just wipe everything out. Ow. So that's what the that's what the healing and the energy and the balancing work with kinesiology. Gotcha. Right. And so that includes, so I always ask the body because I don't do anything. And that's the most amazing thing that I love. Like I don't do anything that the subconscious or that the body of the person doesn't want. So one of my mentors is Dr. Diamond and he wrote a book called The Body Doesn't Lie. It's this amazing mm -hmm. book. I don't know. And uh, it's, you can communicate with the body and it says, okay, I want Reiki or I want essential oils or I want, um, you know, some kind of massage or I want... Uh, vortex balancing or I want a meridian tracing or I want an aspect healing like everybody is different and the body wants to be healed in a very specific sequence yeah and that has to be respected and mm. so that's what's just so beautiful about my work is that then I find that sequence and then I heal it uh, as it wants it so this is like beautiful yeah yeah and so it that makes that makes complete sense too because I mean when you're when you're reprogramming something or when you're shifting something or you're fixing something if you just touch something over here but you really need to touch this right. it's like you know there's a process there's layering right yeah. and so when it's 
in essence, you're finding the right layers to continue to peel things away so that the healing can actually hit at the core. Exactly. So you're like, you know, you don't you don't want to just pull like I'm not just going to pull the table out no. and then all the stuff's going to fall. I'm going to put the pieces off first yeah. and then I can move the table. Right. And so you're finding that way of saying, OK, this is what needs to happen first. This is what needs to happen second. This needs yeah. to happen third. So we can actually pull something out at the root. Exactly. And the first thing I do in any session with a new person, like a new client is I seal what's called the Chiron point. So this is the point. Okay, I, let me hear yeah. about this. And what is Chiron? Yeah, okay. So this is a point that I discovered. Chiron is the wounded healer. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's the guy who's healing everybody else, but he has this wound and he's immortal, so he can't heal it. Mm. Okay. And the Chiron point is a critical point that everybody has. And it needs to be sealed because until this point is sealed, the healing energy cannot stay inside of the vessel, in, in, inside of the body, inside of the being. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you have to think of it like it's a, it's a hole in a glass. Like you just keep pouring in healing work, you know, any modality. And, it, and it's good. It stays inside, but it's leaking. Yeah, and it could be like a slow leak, right? It like could a, be a slow leak. Yeah, it's not like it, it's just going right out. It's like, oh, I feel good. And then it starts to wear off. I just had acupuncture. I feel great. But now it starts to wear off after a week it's or like a month. It's like you have a you have a rip or tear or a nail, a nail in your tire. This is the yeah, ad. Yeah. I'm thinking. And then you're constantly going and you're filling up the tire. Yeah. And and you go to the air t air place at the gas station, and you can drive for a little bit. But then yeah. you notice that the air pressure. Exactly. And you're like veering off to the right, and you're like, "What's going on?" It's like, yeah. My car point's not sealed. So, okay, so th so this this point yeah. that everybody has and everybody yeah. has it. This is the aspect. If you say that again, this is like the wounded part of them that they're trying to heal. Yeah, and that they and so how does somebody find this or mm -hmm. have some awareness of what this is that they're doing? So uh, I teach worldwide how to find this point. Okay. Yeah, w with astrology, like I teach people how to heal also. Okay. And. Uh, you can know a lot about your Chiron point by knowing about the position of Chiron in your chart. Okay, so with that too, and if and if they weren't looking at it, could, could it be like something like what they're constantly trying to fix in others? Like you were saying is like yeah. an, actually an indication. Oh, beautiful. Yes, absolutely. You know? Yeah, I've seen that. And it's also, it's a wound that you've carried with you from past lives also. So uh, Dash Astrology only works with the notion of accepting the law of reincarnation because it's, you know, you're bringing stuff in and it's like you have to work on that. It's things that you need to correct that you yeah. kind of like the mess that you left from the last time you have to work on that. OK. And so Chiron, it, it shows you the wound that it's just been like copy paste. <laughs> OK. And yeah, so and, and so when you help people, one, you so you do these teachings and you teach people yeah. all of this and mm -hmm. and you teach people how to also heal it. Yeah. What do people experience in their life as a result of healing it? So any modality that they use, it works better. OK, like so I'll just seal a current point for somebody, never see them again. And, you know, their acupuncture works better or their Pilates works better or, you know, or their surgery works better. Like just it, any heal or their talk therapy, any modality, it allows it to work like with more efficiency. OK. Mm -hmm. And if they're not mm -hmm. like a healer healing, mm -hmm. then it would magnify or make whatever it is that they're doing or their expression in the world become brighter, easier, more fulfilled. Yeah. Would, would absolutely. you say that? Yes, absolutely. I've, I've had some experiences from clients who like their financial situation improved, like they just were getting along better with people because it all depends on which also which house is it in. Yeah. And the 12 houses are different are the 12 areas of your life where everything in the world falls into just as a side note. And it, it can just bring healing to any area of your of your life, which is amazing because we all need that. <laughs> So it sounds like, yeah, so it sounds like the different areas can be be healed. Yeah. And, and so things where there's problems can start to dissipate and not exist anymore. But also it can brighten or add some magnification because now there's not this leakage. So it's right. more powerful. Right? right. It's like all of all of the water that's coming through isn't going out of the holes in the side of the exactly. hose it's actually going through so the pressure becomes stronger the the force is stronger if yeah. i'm if i'm thinking about yeah, it right absolutely right? and the way that i have people seal their current points is with the essential oils okay and that works really well because when i was testing it 
Um, I was first testing it with crystals and then I was testing it with different kinds of tools, but the crystal wasn't working so well. Like if you have a Chiron point like on your leg, for example, mm -hmm. then you have to wear a crystal there. And I was testing it and I kept getting like holes in my socks. <laughs> It wasn't the best thing. Yeah. So what I like so much about using the oils is that they're invisible, they're mm -hmm. volatile, and they last a long time. Okay. So it could be that you have to steal your current point every day. Oh, so this isn't it's like you seal it and it's healed and it's gone. For some people it is, but for some people not. Okay. It, and, I, and I ask the body, do we need to seal it every day? Yes, you do. For how long? Okay, a month. And then we can, you know, update it later. You know, it's, it's a program. Okay, yeah. so so it's kind of like if there's there's a wound or there's a cut, right? It yeah. would be like you need to wear this bandage or this patch, or you need to get stitches a, a few times or yeah. look it over or whatever. But so it's almost like it's the process of reinforcement to heal or to seal. Exactly. Right? Okay, so it's not like you have to do this for the rest of your life, put something on it, but no. it might have a little tear that keeps no. on happening or something. But it's like with teeth cleaning, for example. I mean, you need to like get your teeth cleaned, okay. and I even tell people to seal their current point before they get their teeth cleaned or in just in case there needs to be like an injection or something huh. because it, it just allows everything to work better okay okay so now yeah. let's talk about these essential yeah. oils because yeah, so these, are, these are your own blend yeah. right mm -hmm. and you blend them to the astrology yeah. and and for healing yeah. right so, so this isn't just you know right lavender for peace and and calmness of mind and essential oils work so beautifully for so many different ways to yeah. uplift your uh, your mood to you know heal to inspire to yeah. clear in that but these have a specific purpose so yeah these are these are essential oils for healing and they're they're blends so we have over a hundred blends i brought some today I, over a hundred different blends. We have blends. A, over a hundred different blends. So they're not just like the the different types of astrology, no. the signs. So you have them for all yeah, different things. Yeah, for, for focus, creativity, for um, happiness, for pro, uh, for money. Like I brought prosperity. Oh, let me have some money. Yeah, you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's really good. You Where could, do you put them on? Too? Well, like, uh, what is, prosperity what is, is good to put in your hands because you know that's sustenance and prosperity. So you see, can. So a different I'll give you two drops. Oh, yeah, there you go. And then all you can right. rub your hands together. Okay. Should I breathe it in too? Yeah, like this, yeah. And it works like magic. Yeah, it's magic. Oh, look at that! It's raining money! Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Thought, you know? That's right. I mean, don't be surprised if you have, like, just money, like, showing up in your bank account. Like, uh, seriously, it's, it's just... Oh, look at it! It's literally yeah. raining money! <laughs> Making it rain. <laughs> so, I don't know if that even captured on the screen, but money just flew from the sky, literally. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so um, yeah, they're, they're, I developed them, the astrology blends, uh, based on the archetypes. So every archetype has an aroma, has a plant that's associated to it. And I developed the formula that goes into the astrological chart. So I mostly use those for sealing the Chiron point and doing healing work. But we have over a hundred different blends to choose from if you need something more like okay. for creativity so, or so 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 the different creative and the different things when those are self explanatory and yeah. so the astrology ones are more basis for healing this chiron point yeah and also they're really good for like now depending on like if like where is the sun transiting like if you know if you're in aries season or taurus season or if there's like huge transits it also helps to transcend the astrology because it aligns you with the archetypal wisdom and when you're aligned with it then you're kind of immune to the downsides of it. Okay, so, I mean, you kind of touched on that uh, people would put it on a certain point. So yeah. you've alluded that the Chiron point can show up on different areas in your body because mm -hmm. you said, well, what if your Chiron point's on your leg? Right, right? yeah. So, so, mm -hmm. so there's, your Chiron point will manifest as a certain aspect on your physical self yeah and that will never change and then and then you would apply the essential oil blend to that spot that's to help right. correct it that's right and so okay that's that's cool and and i'm sure through your healing protocols and the different trainings that you do you can help somebody identify where that's showing up on their body exactly right? or in a session yeah because i also do one-on-one -on -one sessions yeah. okay yeah now where else or how else would you use your essential oil so like when yeah. you had me do this i would breathe in you said the palms of your hand because you know yeah. it's about receiving so i'm yeah. like ah, all right here we go but um what are some other areas that people would use or yeah. how they would use some of these absolutely blends? so we have one product 
It's a it's our best seller. It's called Healing Master. Okay. And it can be used on pretty much anything that's broken. Like if you have cuts, brain uh, cuts or bruises or broken bones or anything. Or brain problems, because that's where you're going. Yeah, I guess so, right? You could like just pour it on your head and then help you think more clearly. But it's amazing. So that one you can use anywhere. It's very, um, you know, you have many options with the Healing Master. Okay. And then we also have, I love, I personally love to use them in aroma lamps. Okay. Because I like to get them in the space, get them in the air and like breathe it in and just be enveloped in that energy. Yeah. So that's a really good way to use it. Um, otherwise, you know, we have also blends for arthritis. So obviously you want to put it where, you know, it hurts or. Okay. Yeah. Pain ease for anywhere you have pain. And what about specifically some of these ones that are for these aspect at um you know activators right like right. like prosperity creativity focus like yeah. where, where are some of the things that you find that it's better to apply it to certain is it pressure points is it to yeah, smell it is absolutely. it to what yeah you can put them like where the you know the on the wrist is really good because the skin's thinner and it'll you know kind of like diffuse quicker um but it's really in, in like in the terms of focus for example it's really good to get that one in the air like in your office so okay. you can also use them in terms of feng shui. So you can put them in different areas of your space and then it'll enhance that area. Okay, cool. You, know, like you would want to definitely like use uh, prosperity in your money corner. All right. Yeah, you know, right. there it would totally like you're gonna like grow money trees, or maybe on your basic chakra to help like magnify. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you could do that as well. So yeah, we also have the you know the chakra blends that okay. you can use. You know, in the different uh, or for example, like we have uh, aura spray. Okay, right? yeah. You're going to obviously want to spray that in your aura. Okay, let, let you me, want, let you me wanna try yeah, it. Okay. Yeah. It clears it out. It also helps with, you know, emotions that you've picked up and clearing me. I already feel yeah, clear. It also, yeah, it also helps to clear spaces as well. So and, and yeah. so the, the sprays are are some of your essential oil blends that like, can you get the or like, uh, yeah, and then you make them into sprays so people can use that. Yeah, absolutely. You know? like we have the essences and then we have the sprays. OK. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. what's this one? This one's firewall. This is really good for electromagnetic energy. So, you know, like 5G and Wi-Fi and also electromagnetic energy from the earth. OK. So it's uh, it's also a spray. You want you want some? Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't uh, need some protection from our 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 five G and our four, yeah. four? You know, like right. there's so much internet going on nowadays. Yeah. that it's like yeah. So this us. this helps you to really be strong in that you know sewer of electromagnetic energy. But this is also really good for psychic attacks. Okay. So like if you're someone who's in the like spotlight a lot and people like are looking at you, it helps a lot to kind of like just push away the projections and get back to yourself. Oh, nice. It's really important. But it has some like cord cutting ability in it too or so. You know, yeah, like you can feel it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's great. Yeah. And so you designed all these sprays and they really work mm -hmm. in, 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 in addition and help facilitate and magnify those those healings. And these are all available for sale too, right? Oh, yeah. On your website. Yeah, e-commerce. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, they're amazing. And so, okay, so let's talk a little bit more about your healing yeah. work and some of the classes and the and the workshops that you do. Yeah, so I also developed a, an amazing program of uh, uh, the, the lunar cycles and the solar ingressions. Okay. So a lot of, like, like I said, astrology works through healing, right? That's what astrology is about. And new moon, we set intentions. Mm -hmm. And then on the full moon, we remove obstacles that have gotten in the way. Okay. And then the solar ingressions, we we get in touch with the archetype that's ru like uh, that's ruling over the month that we're in. Like, so for example, we could be like, you know, in Aries or we could be in Taurus, like whenever your birthday is. Mm -hmm. And then we do these really powerful meditations to uh, pre-program the month ahead. Ah, beautiful. Yeah. So, and, and, and you do these also live stream too. So it yeah. doesn't matter where people are. Exactly. You can do it from like your couch or your bed or wherever you want. You can do it from the beach, ah. wherever you are. Yeah, I do virtual rituals. So this is really powerful. And and, and, and you said that you teach other people how to use some of these healing modalities yeah. that you've developed, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because that was my thing. It was like, 
when it's like, how can I use astrology in a practical way? And then as I was doing it, then people were like, I want to learn how to do that also. So I get invited to these different cities to teach them how to do it. And I just go there and I teach them and, and it just changes their life. Wow. Yeah. And I'm really happy about that because like I said, I'm really passionate about transcending astrology and really achieving wellness like through it, like really having a spiritual um, connection. Because also when I was studying healing modalities, it, you learn a lot about how to heal, but a lot of them don't have like a spiritual understanding of how the universe works. Yeah. And that's so important. Well, I mean, and we are, we're, we're stardust essentially. That's and like, exactly what like I say people, in my meditations. You know. That's exactly what I say. Like, we're just stardust. Like, I, we take the obstacles and we melt them down into stardust and then we create something that we want out of it. Because it's, it's the same thing. It's yeah. just the wrong form. Yeah. You know? and, and so, like, here, the, all of these forms and energies and we're swirling around and, like, people forget that life is magical and there's yeah. all these other different forces on play. Yeah. It's easy when we're sitting here and we think, oh, we're sitting up and we're right side up. But really, we're held down by this imaginary force called gravity yeah. and we're really upside down right now yeah. you know and then we're circling an atomic bomb known as the sun you know so like you know yeah. when you put things into perspective and then there's all these other big you know things that all like you know and then if you look and you see the study of the the planet ratio it all goes to five or you know it, it, it has you know the right. the, sa the same uh pi ratio goes through and and goes through each of the planets and exactly where they're spaced mm -hmm. and they say yeah it's interesting. magical interesting there's all of this other stuff that goes on you yeah, know it's beautiful i love the way you think because it's so true it is so magical and it's i just and, we shouldn't take it for granted and in yeah. understanding and the thing that i like is that you're looking at all of these other bigger forces yeah. because you know uh i say that it's it, you're always limited to how big you think, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and like, there's so much more that goes on. And so there's always going to be like, there's circles of truth, right? Yeah. You know, and so there's, there's a circle of truth that, you know, we're sitting here in this room, but there's also the circle of truth that we're in America, but there's a circle of truth that we're on planet earth, but there's a circle of truth that we're in the Milky Way galaxy. And there's a circle of truth that we're part of the universe, but like all of these other things that are these bigger circles are affecting the inner circle mm -hmm. right yeah. they can't not yeah and right you can see it in the birth chart and if you go out there mm -hmm. you know you can maybe like shortcut some of the different things because if you're playing with only this perspective it's like here's a better example of it if you're in and you're driving and you're in the you know the the driver view of the gps right yeah it, you don't really understand the traffic. You don't understand where you're going. You don't see other routes. But if you take it to the bird's eye view, you can see how you can alternate paths yeah. and how there's a bigger system at play or where the traffic is built up and where it's not, yeah. right? And so I think that that's what you've learned to do and what you're bringing to. And yeah. I mean, I'm just getting to know you now, but yeah. you're seeing it from that, that bigger perspective and you say, well, yeah, you can work on that or we can pull this thread right here because really this is affecting that. Yeah, exactly. And what's so beautiful about the GPS example is that a lot of times people have been, they missed their turn, for example, and they've been rerouted and they don't know that. It's mm -hmm. like, no, you're still on the way to your goal. Yeah. And don't give up. You're still on the way to your goal. You're just, you, there's a little, it's not even a detour. It's just, you know, this is, this is, you've been rerouted. The universe will always reroute you. Yeah. Always. Yeah. The GPS always does. They say, do, 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 turn left. You were, you know, you turn right. Oh, take this route. Go yeah. this way. And so sometimes people, they forget that. And I just remind them that, no, it's, it's, it's all good. Yeah. And everywhere you go, there you are. Exactly. And so, so how do we have a better experience, right? Exactly. Yeah. Have more energy, not have leakage out of our Chiron point. Yeah. You know, be able to be that truer self. You want the tire to have air so that you can even drive on the road. <laughs> yeah. And you don't want to be stopping every, you know, yeah. uh, few miles and saying, oh, got to fill it up again. I mean, what a waste of. Yeah. Resources. Right? Yeah. So, no, it's beautiful. It's all stardust and 
that's, you know, we just need to learn how to use it in the best way to create the reality that we really desire because we can all have the reality that we desire. And where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Alexander. Uh, my website is alexander.com. And uh, I have my virtual rituals there. And I'm also giving classes here in this beautiful, amazing uh, wellness center. I love the feng shui here. I paid him to say that. No, yeah. no, it's really good feng shui. I'm very sensitive to uh, buildings. And so it's really good energy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. well, and we thank you for, you know, bringing your wisdom and knowledge and helping people heal. And my pleasure. Yeah. I hope that you tune in and to some of his classes or workshops and, you know, try these out. I mean, they they really smell amazing. And I could definitely feel when the aura spray was sprayed on me that <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it cleared it. So, yeah. you know, thank you so much. Happy to see you soon. <laughs> Till next time. Bye. If you enjoyed this conversation, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. If you want some more amazing resources on your path of liberation, head over to liberateyourself.com and sign up for our mailing list. Connect with us on Facebook, Instagram at Liberate Hollywood, all one word, or Liberate Emporium, all one word. Until next time, liberate yourself. Thinking that you want to take that action step, why wait? Book your session right now. Go to liberateyourself.com. Click on either Liberate Hollywood or Liberate Emporium. See our amazing practitioners and who resonates most with you. And then book a session via Skype, phone, or in person. We're here for you, and it's your time to start creating your life.